quiet on the set. Roll tape. Bring up audio. Cue talent. In five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone, it is time to take a break for this week's Tiger Paws, the weekly newscast from Studio 96 here on the campus of the University of West Alabama. I am Edie Caver. And I am Nicholas Finch. Coming up on today's show, we have information on philanthropy events for two fraternities on campus. But first... Finally a break, but for only one day. Assessment day is this Tuesday and daytime classes are not scheduled to meet. Enjoy the day off, but try to be productive. The UWA Campus School is now accepting enrollment packets for the summer program and fall registration. Packets may be picked up at the campus school and must be returned with the registration fee by March 25th. For more information, contact Joan Moriarty at 205-652-3832. The Sigma Pi fraternity will host its 14th annual Oozeball Mud Volleyball Tournament the morning of Assessment Day. Registration is at 9 a.m. and play will start at 10. The fee to sign up a team is $40 with eight players on a team. Proceeds will go to the Sam Spadey Foundation, whose mission is to educate parents and children on alcohol management. For more information, <coughs> contact Ron G Kilgore at kilgorer at uwa.edu. Don't be cute. Be ugly. This was the message that motivational speaker Joe Martin Jr. gave to the students who attended his speech last Monday in Bill Gray's auditorium. Ugly, of course, is used as an acronym from Understanding God Loves You, and the students took a strong reaction to the phrase by reposting the saying on Facebook and Twitter. The Campus Activities Board sponsored the event. Do you smoke cigarettes? Now is the time to kick the habit, according to Louie, the UWA mascot. Don't miss Louie kicking the cigarette butt in front of the calf on assessment day. The 2010-2011 theater season at UWA will continue this week with intimate apparel. We, we received a sneak peek at rehearsals and the show promises to be a good one. To watch the cast members break a leg, go to Bib Graves Auditorium at 7.30 starting on Wednesday. The play will last through Saturday. The Ta Kappa Epsilon fraternity will be selling wristbands for $2.00. Money raised will go to the Alzheimer's Association, which is the fraternity's national philanthropy. For more information, contact Luke Speed at speedl at, at uwa.edu. With help from local artists, individuals can, can register to participate in a fused glass jewelry workshop starting on Tuesday in Land Hall. Participants will take home several pieces of creative glass jewelry from the two-day workshop. The cost to participate is $40. For more information, contact Monica Moore and University Extension 3828. The UWA baseball team swept Lambeth this weekend in a three-game series in Tennessee. The first game ended in exciting extra innings, and the final game was a 10-run rule shutout. For more information on Tiger Athletics, now to Angie in the Sports Corner. The UWA softball team had a rough weekend with two losses against conference foe North Alabama. In week they played, the Lady Tigers swept Tuskegee, bringing their season record to 16-4. They will travel to North Alabama to finish out the conference series on Friday. Now back to Nick and Edie. Thanks, Angie. It is time to get back to work. That does it for your weekly Tiger Boss. We hope to see you back next week for another round of riveting UWA stories. Until then, have a great week, everybody. <laughs>